Shane here with another video of Los Los Outdoors. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a rundown on what calls I'll be using, um, the gun I'll be using, the decoys, and the vests I'll be using for the 2021 turkey season. So the first thing I'll go over is the turkey calls. So this year I'm going to be running Grable Game Calls. I started running them last year. It, they're very good calls. I only had two last year, but then I finally got most of them. I'm just missing one out of the eight calls that he offers for mouth calls. Um, he's got eight different mouth calls. He's got box calls and scratch calls as well. All very good calls. Work great. Um, I've killed turkey. I killed both of my turkeys last year with them. Um, and I helped kill and I called for a bunch of other people last year and they killed turkeys with me too. Um, so I have seven of the eight turkey calls from him, and they're different colors, um, different makes and sounds that they do. So, yeah, that's there's there's seven of them right here. I'm pretty sure. Um, these two up top here, I killed both of the a bunch of turkeys with last year with all my buddies and stuff that I called with. And then these five, and then the one that I'm missing. They're very good calls. Um, he has an Instagram page, and he's got a website that you can go check out. Go look up Grable Game Calls, and he should pop up. And those are the turkey calls that I'll be using. I don't have any. I used to have a scratch call. I don't know where it went. Most likely, it's with my brother. So I like my stuff. It's whatever. And then I have a crow call that I got from my cousin. Um, he got a new one, so he just gave me this one. It's a hammering call. It's just crow call. It works pretty good. Uh, so those are the turkey calls I'll be using. All the calls are really good. The green one, the green mouth call, I killed uh, two my two turkeys with last year. Um, it's very loud. It can cut through the wind on those windy days. I know spring up here in Iowa this can be really windy, sometimes rainy. But it's a really good call. Killed turkeys with it last year. And then this other gray one, that one's a little bit more quieter. And it can, it can still purr and cluck and stuff. And, and all that good stuff. So now I'll be going over my best. So the best that I'm using is I'm using a strut vest, turkey vest. Um, this vest ran me about 65 bucks, 70 bucks, I think. It's a really good, nice vest. It's got a butt pad on the back of it. It clips up here, just in the back, right here. Just got these clips, clips in, and it's got a box box call holder right here it's got a pocket right here for putting stuff in and it's got another big pocket right here it's got two pockets two individual pockets in here and then it's then there's there's the big one you put like your shells or whatever in there. Um, on the other side here pretty much same thing but it's got a cut it's got a holder for your water bottle or something it's got another uh, uh, pocket there and then it's got the same thing for the big pocket it also on this side has two little mouth call holders i usually put mine in my vest because these ones are i've seen on turkey calls or on other turkey vests that the mouth calls tend to fall out sometimes so i put mine in the pocket itself and then in the back it's got a big pocket so you can carry like your decoy or you can carry like bird out or you can just put stuff in it. I used to have a or let's see here. Scott used to have a clip here I thought but I thought I took it out and it's still there. But yeah that's the turkey vest. It's a really good vest. I've only used it for one year. Um, it works really good. Especially it's a cheap vest. It will last you a couple years until you can work up to maybe a, um, a bit more expensive vest. I don't need an expensive vest, that's just, I don't, it's, that works just as well as an expensive vest. 
So now I'll be going over the gun that I'll be shooting. So the gun that I've been shooting for a while is this Mossberg Ducks Unlimited style one. It's a 12 gauge. It came with two barrels. It's got one with the rifling sights on there for turkey hunting and a different choke. And then there's another barrel like just this one with just a bead on it for like duck and goose hunting. And I got a choke in here. Let's see that came with the gun. I don't know if it says what choke this is. That's the choke, which needs to be cleaned. Hasn't been used since last last turkey season. Um, I have killed quite a few turkeys with this gun. I killed all my turkeys with it last year, and this year I'll also be using a 20 gauge for a, just a challenge. Well, pretty much not a challenge, but I'm just going to be shooting a turkey with a 20 gauge. Where me and one of my other buddies, uh, Turbo. Turbo Outdoors, go go look him up on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel. Uh, me and him are going to be doing a challenge. I don't know if Kale wants to do it with us or not. But th this gun is a pump. Uh, it's a three inch gun, three and a half inch gun. But the past few years, it's been giving me some troubles when I shoot. When I shoot for the first time, it goes click. So last year on both of my birds, I had to it'd go click and then I had to eject the shell and put another shell in and then it would fire. That's the gun I'll be using. Um, so decoys. So this year I decided to save up a little bit of money and switch to Apex. My cousin has all the HDR decoys. No. The LCD decoys. He's got all the LCD turkey decoys from Avian. All of them. So there's like seven or eight of them I think. So this year I decided to pick up the breeder hen, which is a good looking decoy, good paint, there's just a couple of creases in there that I need to work out, and then this, and um, I don't know what I can do about that, but I need to get it to come up just a little bit. Um, these decoys you can use, you can collapse them, it's just a rubber decoy, you just blow it up, there's a little air hole right here. You can collapse them and carry them around or, and blow them up when you get to your spots or you can just keep them inflated like this and then once it comes time to season you just deflate them. When the season ends you just deflate them a little bit and then it keeps them in good condition. So it's got a little hole down here where the state goes. It's got some little plastic feet and then it's got the sign down here. But all around good looking decoy and I'm looking forward to be uh, use this this year so there's that decoy it also comes with a stake every LCD decoy you get or any turkey decoy you get it comes with a stake from avian it's like a, I don't know not it's not that big of a stake but it's a, it's pretty much a one piece stake just hold by a string in the middle there um, and then you got this these two little ledges here that you can put your fingers in and pull the decoy out and then it collapses there's a little hole or a little spot right here where you can put the end of the stake in so it doesn't poke anything or anything. Just folds up just like this. Fits right in the back of your vest. And they all and all and they also came with bags. These little bags. You, there's a little cinch. You can cinch them, cinch them up on the top. It's got a little handle here um, so you can hang them up. And it's got a bigger strap so you can strap it across your back if you need to when you're walking walking through the woods there's there's that that's the breeder hen Sorry about that. and then the next decoy that I picked up is I got the half strut Jake decoy from here it's a really good looking decoy I'm looking really I'm really looking forward to using this one looks really good it's the same thing with the air and stuff the legs it's got a little beard on it it's a Jake obviously um, this decoy ran me about 125 bucks at Shields, and then the L and then the hen ran me about 75 bucks. I got that one on sale. I bought them separately. Um, they're a little bit spendy, but I saved up the money over a couple months and then got them and decided to use them. That one also comes with a bag. A little bit bigger bag, 
It's got the sign on it, like always, same strap system. And then same stake system pretty much. Well, is the same stake system. Um, there's that decoy. And then this year, I also, last year, I also picked up like a $15 ghillie suit off of Amazon. And it worked pretty good last year. It's got a couple rips in it just from going through um, like thorns and stuff in the woods up in the hills. But it's a good ghillie suit. It blends in really good. Um, there's so just like I said, there's some rips in the bottom half of this. And there's just a rip in one of the arms, but no big deal. Turkey's not gonna turkey's not gonna pick that out. Um, I just use and for the gloves that I use, I just found these old gloves. They look like they're old waterproof grub, gloves, old real tree ones. I just cut off the fingers on them so I can feel with my fingers and stuff. So so I can touch the camera and stuff like that. Um, so another rundown thing about this year is. I'm going to be shooting two turkeys with guns. Kale is going to be shooting two turkeys, I think, and one he's going to shoot with a bow. Um, this weekend, it's Easter weekend, so right now it is March 31st, so tomorrow's uh, the 1st of April, and then April 9th is when youth season comes in. And hopefully we get a bunch of videos out this year I know this coming Monday which it's Wednesday today is I get to go because I have a four day weekend I'm going to go uh, up north about 12 miles from my hometown and I'm going to let I'm going to go turkey hunting with a guy I'm not shooting he's one of my good buddies I duck and goose hunter no, no, known him all my life he's older guy he's friends with my dad and stuff and he's going to use my I'm going to let him use my turkey decoys I'm going to help call for him because he's not the greatest caller. And um, hopefully we can get that on film. Hopefully everything goes right there and all that. I know my brother's going to be shooting a turkey this year, maybe two. Um, I know that there's going to be a couple videos where I'll be using a 20 gauge just for the fun of it. And just seeing what it does. I went and took a took some loads to a 20 gauge that we have and it was pretty good pattern there's like five or six bb's in the in the kill kill spot on the target and all that and there should be a lot of good videos out this year there's a lot of turkeys around right now um kale is getting uh, all of his stuff ready i know they bought some avian x turkey decoys as well um we're going to be going down with him hunting, and that this should be a fun year turkey hunting. And then fishing comes in, which we've already started, and that's all I got for you guys. So make sure you guys go follow us on Instagram, at Lois Hills Outdoors, and, we, and I have a tick, me and Kale both have TikTok, uh, mine's uh, Lane Homework, just look that up, and then uh, Kale Morrow, if you look that up on TikTok. Go follow both of us on Instagram, and then go follow our Instagram page at Lois Hills Outdoors. Make sure you go uh, follow Lo Grable Game Calls as well on Instagram, and go buy a couple of his calls. Calls are really good. Um, they've never, for the last year that I've had them, and last year they never let me down, work really good, and I will probably be stuck using these calls for a while. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys go do that. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, uh, leave us some comments about where you guys are from and uh, turkey hunting and how's, how, it go, how it's going down there or anywhere for you guys. I know that um, me and Kale are really pumped and we only have a couple more days or a couple, there's like less than two weeks. It's like a week and a half till season comes in. I don't know that I know that me and him are going to be getting youth tags because it's our last year getting youth tags, and then we're going to get a fourth. I'm going to get a fourth season tag for Iowa, as long as my, as well as my brother, dad, and everybody who else is getting one. Um, but otherwise, that's really it, and it should be a really good year, like I've already said. But as well, make sure you go subscribe, like the video.